Good morning. It is Monday, September 12th, and it is our first fall week of school. Uh, I'm ready to get into our actual routine today, so that's what we're going to try to do, is to do our normal day. It'll be our first day doing that, so I think it'll be good um, getting into that sh the structure of it, and yeah, I'm too tired to really think right now. But it is uh, the good old fall weather where right now it's like 50 degrees and kind of chilly, but it's supposed to be a high of 80 today, so we got the sweatshirt on now, but we got the polo on for later. So I decided I can get, I'm going to let myself get caribou on Mondays and Fridays, start the week and end the week. So let's go get caribou, get to school, get our stuff ready. All right, here we go. Starting the year with the messy desk already. Um, but I'm going to get my life together and I will let you know how it goes at the end today. Goodbye. Okay, I'm back real fast. For like the last like four years, I've always just put my learning targets at the beginning and the end of my lesson slides. That way, like I say it when I, before I start and then we check in at the end, but we have to post them this year in the room. We've had to do this before and I always forgot to change it. So day one's up. We'll see how long, if I'm able to do it. All right, the day is done. It feels good getting into our actual routine, but it is still so exhausting. Like I'm ready to be like mid-October when things are just running, but until then, fill in on what we did today. So we do have the Fontaine Spinel classroom curriculum. Um, I know FMP gets getting ripped apart because of science of reading, all that stuff. But as far as their interactive reader allows, I really like them. That's one part that I think they do a really good job on. So today we read the book Dunderheads. The first text set of the year, the theme for this week is friendship. So we read that book and um, just kind of talked about how it showed friendship, lessons we could have learned, what the genre was. We re revisit point of view. Again, it's nice having my same class because I know we talked about this with every single book we read last year. So we kind of refreshed, I refreshed our memories and we were talked about that that type of stuff during the during our read aloud today. So I had these posters up last year. So I revisited these just to talk about genre and just made this again for point of view. Most of them remembered, um, but it was just a good little refresher and a place to look. Cause again, we'll, that's an easy conversation to bring up every single read aloud is, hey, what point of view is this book written in? Who's telling the story? Same for genre, same for theme. You can literally do those with any book you read with your class. So um, we talked a lot about that today with the Dunderheads and I had never read the book and it was, it was good and funny. A little long, but that's all right. We also are still using, we're gonna do article of the day. So they did their, read their article and responded with a couple sentences. One of these weeks we'll kind of bump it up. I've been doing like two sentences, but I think they can go a little bit, a little bit more. And our reading mini lessons, they start with just kind of like a management unit. So today I was talking about like classroom community and like how to be a good classmate and how to just kind of like a, creating like a classroom agreement. Oh, I've told them we were gonna come back and do that after music and gym and we forgot. So I'll do that tomorrow. But um, that was our mini lesson for reading. For writing, we are starting by reviewing a lot of grammar things, um, just things that they should know that they don't necessarily always remember. So we're starting with literal capitalization. I do have these on TPT, but um, they're just, today we talked about capitalizing uh, days of weeks, months, holidays. So I just did some examples and they had to fix some. Um, and then I just have the exit ticket to go with it. So they completed that where they had to find the words in the sentences to capitalize and then they had to write their own. Our first unit for math is geometry. Um, today was our first actual lesson. So it was on points, lines, line segments. Um, we did that and then I got our inner, our math notebooks, the start of setting them up. So this is my example. They got their cover put on theirs. I just printed this on a shipping label. Um, and then they glued in this tab. That's as far as we got today because their cutting and gluing was not as quick as I thought it would be. So tomorrow we will put in these definition pages. Um, again, this is my example. So like the definition goes under. That part is the most difficult through it just because they had to fold and then cut there. Anyways, then from there, then on, it's just easy because each day there will be one piece of paper. They cut it in half. The left side's an anchor chart with information they need. The right side is for them to do some problems. Um, I use this because I like it to be a resource. Like if they're doing like Prodigy or some sort of math activity, IXL, if they forgot how to do something, they can come back and use this as a resource. Also, we have everyday math and we're gonna use the journals more this year, which we're gonna a new math series next year so I can make it through this year using it. Um, so with those math boxes that review, I feel like this will be a good resource for them to have to look back on previous lessons. So we'll start using this and get this set up more. Tomorrow, our lesson will be on parallel, perpendicular and intersecting lines. 
Again, things I know they did in third grade because I was their teacher. Um, but then we'll get into more like measuring angles, which we didn't do, and naming triangles, which we also did not do. All right, lastly for science, this is also on GPT. I have a whole uh, scientific method unit with like five lessons. So this was our first one, just talking about what a scientist is. I had them draw what they think it looked like. And a lot of theirs was the typical crazy hair, glasses, lab coat type thing. We watched this video and then we just kind of talked about what scientists do. Uh, we talked about some real life scientists today and just about how they're different ages, different races, different genders. Um, they have different specialties, whether it's being marine biologist or like a video game designer or an astronaut. Um, and yeah, that was our science lesson for today. And we will get our science notebooks put together tomorrow. It was a good day. It was a long day. Again, once we're hitting the ground running in our uh, routine, it'll be awesome. But just getting them used to our new schedule and how things are gonna look this year, that's what takes some time. So anyways, I'm off to do a grocery pickup. So see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 13th. I know I said I was going to get caribou only on Monday. I was only going to do it on Monday and Friday, but I'm tired. Back to school tired. And I need to feel something in the morning, and caribou does that for me, so. Anyways, quick plant update. These bad boys are growing pretty good. This one leaf's turning a little yellow. I don't know. That's been like that, though, so maybe it's better now. Ooh, and they were drooping down there. Maybe I should pick some of this dead stuff off. But otherwise, they're looking pretty good. Yeah. The mint's doing really good. My coworkers would come and grab some for her green tea every once in a while. We have some, you can kind of see some mini cucumbers. Where are they? Oh, right there. You can see that one kind of starting to come. So yeah, getting there. All right, one thing we're gonna try today, something about morning work. I've never really done morning work, but my teammates are doing it. And this is like a spiral review. So I feel like it, it'll be good. So let's work on it for a few minutes when they come in. And then it'll be kind of something that they work on when they have time, if they don't finish. And we have like a weird 10 minute chunk after specials before lunch. So I think this will be a good thing to go over like the last five minutes of that. So they can come in after specials, if they haven't finished it, work on it for a little bit and then we'll go over it then just to, yeah. We're gonna try it out, see how it, see how it goes. Day two of trying to get back into our routine. So hopefully today's a little bit smoother just as far as like I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's too early, too tired. So I'll check in, end of the day, let you know how things go and what we do. Okay, see you then, bye. Hello, it is after school, Tuesday. It got really hot out, so we lost the long sleeve. Um, but it was a really good day. They did a really good job of just, I don't know, get, easing our way into our routine. It was much, much better today. I think we'll be tired by the end of the week, but um, so far today, it was much better. So beginning of the year, they, by the, the paras and the title teachers, they will pull out every kid in the school um, and do a quick, just kind of screener and assessment on them. So my kids have been leaving about four at a time to do, go do a little bit of reading. And that's during our normal intervention block, which has not started yet because they don't know what kids to take, obviously. Um, so that's kind of what they, how they find out. Um, so when they do that, I don't wanna do anything that the rest of the kids who aren't in here are missing. So I've been trying to do some just like independent work stuff that way when they come back in, they can get going on it when they leave they can just catch up when they get back in so read works talked about it a lot but uh, just love it so i did a article on jesse owens that they need to read and then there's a vocab activity and some comprehension questions they're going to answer on it that's one of the things that they are going to have done by friday and then i also assigned a book on monarchs on epic that they're also going to listen to and write me four sentences about what they learned and the reason i did the monarchs is because we have monarch caterpillars back here so we are gonna be studying them and watching them go through their life cycle. Uh, there's water in there because we just kind of wiped out their, you know, yeah. So they are gonna learn a little, about, little bit about butterflies on their own. That way we know what's happening as we are watching ours. You can see that one kind of shed its exoskeleton there a little bit, so yeah. So that's what their independent work looks like during that time. Um, and then also for our reading today, we read about, or we read the book, The Other Side by Jacqueline Woodson. I feel like I'm saying her, got her last name wrong. But The Other Side, classic book, so good, so, so good. Again, our theme, theme is friendship this week. And then a lot of kids then started reading the Jesse Owens article. So it had some good connections there that I did not intentionally plan because we talked kind of like the symbolism of the fence in the book and about segregation and um, just, you know, kind of how, 
it's a historical fiction book, so that's people were segregated and kind of brought us into the discussion today about how there are still people who are racist and judge people based off their skin and talked about like why do we learn about this still like it was 60 years ago but why is it important and they said you know we need to know that it happened so it doesn't happen again so i was really proud of that little discussion and thought process they had hmm let's see for word study our first word study lesson was on syllables which is helpful for decoding and when they're writing words just thinking about the chunks they need to write and we practiced talked about proper nouns today for capitalization for writing just because a lot of them like i said yesterday capitalizing knowing when to capitalize they just don't do it so having these explicit lessons on it i think will be helpful obviously i knew this because i was their teacher last year so i really want to focus on this that was the end of the year I was like man we're not doing this and we should be better so i knew i wanted to start the year like that we did get our math notebook set up a little bit better today and i told them we are going to use it as a review of the previous day so today they did they put in the stuff from yesterday's lesson and tomorrow they'll put in stuff for our day lesson today, which was on um, parallel perpendicular intersecting lines. Um, so again, they'll just have that page that's kind of like the anchor chart, and then they'll have a few problems to do as examples. That way they have this as a reference if they ever need it. I'm still reading The Bad Beginning as our chapter book read aloud. And then for science today, we talked about the scientific method and kind of that process. We talked about what a hypothesis is and then how you experiment to come up with our conclusion. And tomorrow we will get into doing some actual kind of experiments, little experiments to practice making a hypothesis and testing it. That was our day in fourth grade. Things that I need to do this week, we need to do a refresher of our secret stories and I want them to really be pointing those out in words. Um, especially because that, since I have six new students who don't know the stories. And then I also, we got IXL for math. So I need to get my students onto IXL. So two things I need to do. Hopefully this saying it on this video will help remind me. Anyways, tomorrow's a funky day. I'll talk about that tomorrow, but I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, bye. All right, it is after school Wednesday. I this probably was my favorite day of the year so far. I, it was a really good day. It was also a very weird schedule for us, like I kind of mentioned. So we had library this morning for 20 minutes. And that was right before music or our specials, which we had Steam today, which they were very excited for because we have a new Steam teacher this year. Um, we did do our star reading test this morning, which isn't always exciting, but part of what we got to do and get some good information from it, see how kids are, especially for me, compared to last year after having the summer. Um, so that was kind of our morning, other than we did do our read aloud, which was the book um, by the same author who wrote The Invisible Boy, Trudy something. Why can't I think of her name right now? But it was called Better Than You, and I really liked it didn't end how I thought because I had never read it before but it was really good just like talking about how led a good discussion on like finding friends that make you feel good and how it's okay to take a break from friends who don't and also led us to some discussions on what we would do if we had a friend who was always bragging because that's what's going on in the book and like we talked about like pointing it out you know you can take a break and sometimes people don't realize they're doing it so really like the discussion that that book led us to we had art today and we we've never had an art teacher and i don't i haven't had a chance to really talk to the new art teacher very much um but my class really liked her they said it was so, so much fun and they're excited for the year because i think she told them some of the projects they'll be doing and what to look what they'll be looking forward to for the year so that'll be awesome as well but my favorite part i have never been really good at consistently doing science so i've been making my own kind of slides and materials just so i have it to go off of because we don't have like a full-on science curriculum we have like plans to follow and we have materials but it's not like ready for us just to go and I'm not good at always going and having the stuff ready ahead of time so that's what I'm trying to prepare my slides so that's one less thing and then I can whatever so our first thing is the scientific method so um I showed you the other two days what we did and here's what we did today doing our first experiment with it so we didn't have anything for the scientific method and so I kind of made my own stuff um and i bought these materials on my own but very cheap so the other two lessons like i said we're just introducing it today was our first time using the scientific method so i had them do this i just called it a coin lab so what we did is we actually ended up getting nickels instead of dimes so we had penny nickels and quarters first up they just made observations so what they looked like they noticed some of the coins had ridges around them some had more like designs and more like bumps Obviously the quarter was the biggest. So after their observations, they made their hypothesis. 
and they were gonna they were deciding which coin they thought could hold the most drops of water on it. So I bought little, what would you even call that? Um, I have them right here. I just can't think of the word because I, I, whatever. It's struggling today, but this, whatever you call this, like a little water dropper, I got 150 of these on Amazon for like $8. I could have got 25, I think for like four, but I figured I might as well get more than I need for the price difference. Um, so I bought those and then they each, they did this on their own. I have these lunch trays that I had everything ready on. And so they went through, did their observations. They made their hypothesis of which coin and why. And then they went ahead and experimented. So they did every coin three times with just count how many drops it could hold. Um, after they were done, we didn't do the average yet because they've never done that, but we did, we ran out of time because we did this at the very end of the day. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. But we did end up talking about variables because some people's drops were bigger than others. So we talked about how we can't really compare how many, like if somebody had 80 and somebody had 45, like the quarter should have held the most regardless, but how many it held might differ because the size of drops could be a variable. Um, some people, if they had more people at their table, it was shaking more, so that impacted their results. So we had a good discussion there about how there are things called variables that can impact the results of our, of our experiment in lab. So when I was telling them what we were gonna do, they didn't seem like that excited. Like, I mean, it doesn't seem anything like too exhilarating, but once they got going and realized how much they could fit on a coin, like how, you know, like this, what's that called? Surface tension or, again, you know what I'm trying to say? Like before it bursts, like, I think they that was cool for them to see how much it could hold. I think it got bigger and held more than they anticipated. So they were having a lot of fun with it. And of course they're having a good time watching their caterpillars grow. So that's been fun as well. We need to tie this more into, I don't know, like yesterday I had them listen to that book on Epic. Today was just a weird day and then star testing, but we'll pull some more stuff in to learn about these guys and where they're gonna migrate to once they we release them and their life cycle and all that good stuff. But it feels good getting back into our routine and we're officially over halfway done with the week and I'm feeling pretty good today. So that's, that's good. I'm not as tired as I had been. So I hope this keeps up. With all of the stuff going on, we didn't get to um, our math lesson today, but it's just a review of the types of angles, which we've already kind of been talking about with the other stuff that's been going on the last couple of days, last couple of days. So I don't think that'll take too long. So tomorrow we'll probably just review those and then we're gonna practice measuring angles, which I'm a little nervous for, but we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and I will, um, yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hey, hi, good morning, Thursday. September 15th, our first payday of the year. We made it. Um, yeah, just a quick check-in because uh, I'll talk to you after school, but I am kind of excited again for today, especially for our science stuff. And it rained last night. Everything's really wet, so they'll probably be inside for their morning recess. So I'm gonna get my life together. So see you this afternoon. Nothing special to report from the morning. Did our same little routine. I signed a ReadWorks article and just have been I really like the reports you get and like how quickly you can see which ones they got wrong. So I kind of checked in with each kid on any that they missed and just kind of went through their thought process and had them kind of reread it. And they all were like, oh yeah, yeah, it should have been this one. So little mistakes, but giving that feedback right away, it's super helpful, I feel like, like how ReadWorks gives, gives it to you, so easy, love it. You can actually see their progress as they're working on it. So I've loved that. Um, for math, we talked about angles and we learned how to measure angles today. I was a little nervous for that because I've never taught how to use a protractor before. At third grade, we did, didn't do that. We just talked about types of angles. And then when I taught fifth and sixth grade, they had already used them before. So it was maybe a little reteaching, but most of them caught on right away. So it actually went really well. Um, they did a good job. They did a practice page with about 12 practice problems. And I think most of them got them all or close to all of them correct. So that was, that was good. And then for science today, we did a paper, paper airplane little experimenter lab. So I gave them plain copy paper, cardstock, and construction paper. They made their observations for each, and then they kind of made their hypothesis on which one would go the furthest for their paper airplanes they made. Um, this ended up going like we started later and we were crunched on time. So when we went outside and did our experimenting again, 
just having this, I think I said that yesterday too with ours, but it was like, it's tough having science at the end of the day with how our schedule works because I feel like we're rushing to get it done. Um, but we did end up talking about the average. I'm going back to yesterday. We talked about average for the drops today and they found the average of theirs. Um, and then today we went outside and tested like just which, which one went furthest. I was planning on measuring them, but we did not have time. So I just said which one went the furthest. So like for trial one, if cardstock went the first, so they went one, two, three, just to see the order. Um, and we'll talk about variables tomorrow, just about how it could have, there could have been a breeze, there could have been, maybe each plane wasn't made exactly the same, whatever. So we'll talk more about that tomorrow, but I feel like they enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed having the science stuff ready this week and doing it though, just cause it's been a bunch of good conversations and it's connected in well to, I don't know, just kind of everything. So I need to keep it up. But otherwise, that's about it. I'm about to go to happy hour with some coworkers, so I'm out of here. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello, happy Friday. It is already Friday afternoon. I was way too tired and just pretty much tired this morning to even think about what was gonna be going on. So here we are, I'll fill you in on our day. Again, this was a our first full week, so we were all tired. Our morning was the same as it has been, just kind of going through and doing like a little bit of ReadWorks practice, working on reading stamina. Um, did we do a word study lesson? Yeah, we did a word study lesson today, um, breaking words into syllables. And did I read aloud? We read Each Kindness. So that was our last friendship book for this week. And now we talked about genre, point of view, theme during that. And it was indoor recess here. So we ended up just going a little bit longer because it's in our rooms and they were honestly being so quiet and just, it was nice. So we did a little bit extra that, especially since they were all so tired and so was I. So. It's kind of nice there. And then for science, this is what we did. This will be our ongoing scientific method experiment. So we'll keep documenting the change, but we are doing growing the beans in a plastic bag with the paper towel. Um, and there's some over on that window too. But what we're doing is we use three different liquids to see how that impacts the growth of the beans. So we did regular water, club soda, and we just did some diet Mountain Dew. So, um, I had soaked those so they came and grabbed it. And I'll have to have spray bottles to like re, you know, so I can like dampen them next week um, to keep them moist. But um, hopefully that's not too difficult to just pull them off and spray them a few times, spray in the bag and put them back up. We'll see. But that is gonna be able we'll to just kind of keep documenting their growth for, I don't know, a week, week and a half. We also cleaned out our caterpillar containers and put in new milkweed. Some of them are getting pretty big. Look at that guy. So that'll be fun to watch these guys start doing their thing here. And then the rain stopped. So we were able to go outside this afternoon and we stayed out a little bit longer too, just cause it had been first full week. They were tired into our recess. They had, yeah, we had a birthday treat. So they had a dilly bar. So they were, had a little bit of a sugar rush. So. I read some of our read aloud and that was our day. I finally organized behind my desk. So that's looking much better than it was. And I'm out of here. Thanks for tuning in here as we get our regular routine rolling. That's about it. That's all I got. So I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.